Uh, hello, hi everyone. Uh, welcome again to another session. Uh, again, my name is Martin Dogoni Nyoro. I work for RCOE as a GIS expert. I'm going to be taking you through another session uh, on uh, protected area um, database management and uh, particularly on how and why we document we document the changes implemented in the in the protected area uh, the protected planet databases. So uh, we need to document changes in the WDPA that is uh, in the protected planet that is the world database of protected areas the world database of OECMs and the global database of protected area management effectiveness and it involves tracking updates uh, to protect area information, including, um, involves tracking updates to protected area information, including additions, removals, and modifications to the existing, the already existing records in the, in the databases. This process ensures that the, database, the databases remain an accurate and up-to-date resource for conservation efforts, as well as reporting. So the types of changes that uh, I'm talking about is um, there is where new uh, protected areas are being gazetted. Uh, this is now the additions to the databases. They are, they are already uh, protected. They are the protected areas that the boundaries are changing. Uh, these are now where the spatial extent uh, is expanding or it is uh, reduced, or in some cases that it's being uh, redefined. Then there are some, also some changes where they attribute information changes. Because as you've heard from the other sessions, the, the name of the protected area might change, the IUCN management category, the governance type, or even the, the legal designation, uh, and the date of, of designation. The area must, might as well uh, change in size. So these are some of the attribute information that, that, uh, that change. The, the protected areas might also be degazetted or deleted from the databases. This is where a protected area offic is officially uh, eliminates protection completely or no longer meets the WDP or WOECM uh, category. The other adjustment is the, on the OECM adjustment. This is where we recognize new OECMs or remove areas that no longer qualify uh, as effective conservation areas. Um, there is a, a database called PAD. This is the protected area downgrading, uh, downsizing, and degazettement. This now is a database that shows how changes have been going onto the, the protected areas. So when we talk about downgrade, this is the, in the decrease in the legal restrictions uh, on the number, magnitude, or extent of human activities within the protected area. Uh, in terms of categories, the area might be uh, category one, a strict area, strict nature reserve, and it's downgraded to something like a national park. So this is what we are talking about down downgrading. Then there is the downsizing where we now decrease a protected area exp experiences the decrease in size of the protected area. This could be as a result of uh, exitions or of uh, land or sea areas through a legal boundary change. Then there is the degazettement where it is the loss of legal protection of uh, the entire protected area. According to uh, the PAD tracker, uh, between 1892 and 2020, 74 countries have enacted more than 4,400 4, PAD events. This is affecting the size of India. This is quite huge because if you know the size of uh, India is uh, three point, approximately 3.2 kilometers squared. And, in be and between 1944 and 2019, 26 countries proposed more than 1,100 PAD events. Uh, this uh, most, or rather 61% enacted PAD events globally are related to 
human interference, let me call it human change, human, uh, the human aspects where it's either an industrial scale uh, result, uh, uh, an industrial scale resource extraction and development, uh, including there is infra infrastructure change, there is industrial agriculture, there is mining or there is oil and gas. Um, rollbacks to protected area appears to be increasing, which is uh, some of, which is uh, quite alarming with uh, most of these events being enacted since uh, 2000, since the year 2000. So uh, some of these changes in order to be effected on the protected planet databases need supporting documents. So it needs to have verifiable uh, information and one of them is uh, if it's a new addition to the site, there needs to be an official gazette uh, notice or gazettement or a legal act or the protected area uh, designation docu uh, documentation. If it's in terms of the boundary change, there needs to be an area from the data provider in terms of a spatial a GIS shapefile or a, ge a geospatial database uh, showing the new changes in the, in the databases. If it's in uh, terms of an uh, attribute change, or we need to update uh, the attributes, we need to have an example of a management plan, a gazette notice, or a ministry memo, or anything that uh, will show that uh, we need to update um, this attribute information. In terms, in terms of uh, uh, the, the deletion of a protected area, we need to have, uh, with the, the data provider needs to provide a legal revocation notice or an attribute act from the territory or the country indicating that this area needs to be removed uh, from the protected planet databases. Once all this information is provided, the data provider needs to have um, a data contributor agreement. This is an agreement that ensures that there is a written record uh, of the data provider agreeing to the intellectual property they have uh, provided to RCMRD and uh, WCMC to, in be, to include the data in the databases and uh, the terms at which this will be made available. I wanted to let you know, um, so why do we uh, carry out these changes? Why why do we need to document changes in the WDPA? So number one is to ensure tra transparency about uh, how these national and global protected area systems involve. So we need to be accountable on how uh, these um, changes are uh, happening. This, um, we need also to ensure that uh, the data is accurate to, for the decision makers, researchers, and the public, because this data will be available publicly, um, and it should be verifiable data. As from the other presentation that you've had, uh, this data, WCMC, is uh, formally uh, mandated to track the progress towards achieving 30 by 30. So um, this, uh, the documenting of these changes helps uh, measure the progress towards these global biodiversity targets. Another um, reason why we need to document these changes is to prevent data loss or duplication and also to maintain a historical records of how these uh, protected areas are changing over time. Um, in terms of the data contributor agreement, I wanted to give you an overview of how it, how it looks and some of the critical information that, that are in the document uh, in order for this data to be uploaded in the WDPA. So in the data contributor agreement, the data provider um, provides this data to be integrated in a global database. And the, the, data, um, the database includes the spatial boundaries, should include the spatial boundaries and attributes that are related uh, to the particular country or region. I had mentioned this already in my previous slide. And uh, the data provider should also provide a brief description of the format of the data. If it's a geodatabase or it's just a shapefile, the number of the polygons that are being added into the database or being removed from the database, or the number of points, and any other relevant information that will be critical 
to ensure that uh, this data is updated on the WDPA. The data, the data set should also be provided free of any restrictions as it will be viewable and downloadable in accordance to the WDPA terms and conditions. And it will be utilized for any analysis and it will also be redistributed to, the, to third parties to be used in other platforms. For example, we do have a dashboard on the RCOE uh, geo portal that reads directly from the protected planet. And this can be used now to track the changes in there within your particular country or at a regional scale. Uh, where, the rel where it's relevant, uh, we, not we know that uh, some of the territories that are managed by um, indigenous people and local communities. So we are relevant, the data provider should share this data free uh, with, with free prior and informed consent of the IPLCs involved in the management, governance and ownership of these sites. Uh, yes, so another, op another point to note is that if, this, if the data is found to have been provided without the permissions relevant from the uh, stakeholders or the rightful or the right holders uh, terms and conditions on the WDPA mean that it will be removed uh, from the databases with immediate effect. The data provider should also ensure uh, as it is involved in the tracking of progress in, um, at a regional and a global scale, the data provider should ensure that uh, they have made a reasonable efforts to ensure that the data being provided is accurate to be updated in the databases. Um, another clause is that uh, RCMRD and UNEP WSCMC recognize that the data is the intellectual property of the ministry or the data provider. And um, it will maintain proper attribution to the source of the data. The RCMRD and uh, WCMC will also retain the information, the name and the contact of the data provider for purposes of future correspondence, for the purpose, for the purposes of future correspondence, which uh, includes uh, areas that we need to, if the data needs regular updates or we the data is out of date and we require, uh, we, we need to request for updated data. Uh, another thing to mention is that RCMRD and uh, UNEP WCMC do not share any personal data with third parties. And uh, the designations and the geographical entities of the data sets that has been uh, submitted do not imply uh, the expression or any view or opinion whatsoever of RCMRD and uh, WCMC or the data provider concerning legal status of any territory. Um, in the Protected Planet website, there is a tab, as you can see on your right, there is um, an update tracker. This is a tracker that uh, tracks every changes. As these changes happen on a monthly basis, this tracker is able to, you can go down, you can also filter the options that are there, are there if you want to look at what update has been made at a particular month. So you can visit the link uh, from Protected Planet and you're able to see what uh, some of the changes that have happened on a particular month of interest. I chose to focus on uh, the month of August. So from the WDPA, there is a total number of uh, 305,586 305, protected areas that have undergone changes, which includes 293 1,653 polygons and 11,933 points, which covers 244 countries and territories. That is in, in the WDPA. In the WDOECM, the total number of records that have changed in, in, um, in the month of August is 6,630, uh, comprising of 646,485 polygons and 140, 48, 40, 145 points covering 15 countries and territories. In the month of August, there had no any changes 
in terms of a global database of uh, protected area management. Uh, on your right, you can see the countries that um, underwent um, changes. You can see the designation if it's uh, your country, if you're in uh, Korea, if you're in Iran or Congo. We can see the number of the polygons that uh, underwent additions, the number of pol polygons that, went, uh, that were removed from the databases, the number of polygons that were updated or that were verified, the number of points that were, that, that were added and those that were re um, removed from the database. And there, there is also a, where points, points change into polygons or polygons change back to, to points. So you can visit um, this website for more information regarding your particular country. And just to, to get a feel and get to understand uh, some of the changes that uh, have happened. Thank you uh, for any questions and um, for any questions or comments regarding uh, the documenting, the documenting, uh, the documenting the changes that happen in these protected planet databases. Uh, reach out to us through uh, the community. The link is on the last slide. You can also scan, and we get to engage. Thank you. Uh, see you on the next one.